Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about toys to help with your infant's development. Now, there are a lot of fancy, expensive, beautifully designed developmental toys out there, but I got to start by saying you don't have to go buy those things. If you start looking around your house, there are things as simple as empty milk jugs that make great toys for kids, and everybody thinks about pots and pans and wooden spoons. They're fantastic. Use those. However, you do want to think about the infant's development when you're thinking about what they're going to play with. Now, when we think of toys, we think of something that has no practical use, but for infants, the toy has a very very practical use. It is a tool that they use to help develop their bodies and their brains. And so getting the right toys can be important for helping your infant develop. In the period between age zero and three months, infants are not doing a lot in terms of manipulating their environment. So they're listening to things. They're looking at things. You want to start with pictures, bright shapes, sharp contrast, simple lines. Early on, they only really see black, white, and red, so you may as well start with those colors. The first shapes that infants perceive are bullseyes and human faces, so you see a lot of pictures that look like that. The infant's vision at this point is best between about 8 and 14 inches, so if you're going to put something there for them to look at, try and get it in that general vicinity. A great idea is an unbreakable mirror, maybe a plastic or mylar mirror. They can look at themselves. Everybody likes to look at themselves, even infants. Also, they're enjoying soothing sounds, so you might have a toy that has a little music to it or a soothing sound, but nothing too raucous. Now, between four and seven months of life, some new things are happening, especially manipulating the environment. Babies are grabbing things, they're moving them around, they want to have some action. This is when crib gyms come in handy, but remember not to leave that crib gym there with an unattended baby because they might choke or do something to harm themselves with it. There are textured things, big balls, soft items, anything that is bright and squishy and crinkly and makes noise is great at this age group things they can hold on to. Later on, between 8 and 12 months of life, children are not only manipulating their environment, but they're starting to move by crawling or scooting or even walking across the floor. They might want a push toy or a pull toy to help them with that. They might get balls of different sizes. They're also starting to stack one thing on top of another. And there are all sorts of things they can stack, from soft blocks to cups to pans to old yogurt containers. But give them something and they're going to start putting it on top of something else. Now when you're thinking about infant toys, you want to think about safety, of course. Nothing should be small enough to fit inside the baby's mouth, usually an inch and a half in diameter, nor should it be able to cover their face and prevent them from breathing. Obviously, you want to look out for sharp edges, sharp points, and sometimes toys will surprise you. Even top brand name toy makers make a mistake every now and then, so you might check the Consumer Product Safety Commission website, CSPC, and see what they have, because they'll surprise you as to what's been recalled. To recap, toys are tools that infants use to develop their brains and bodies. Choosing appropriate toys for their developmental stage will help them do that, but always look out for your baby's safety and think about checking the Consumer Product Safety Commission website from time to time to make sure you haven't accidentally bought something that has been recalled. For infant development and toys, I am Dr. David Hill.